Hi, David here, Associate Analyst at Orpheus Cyber, just with a quick summary of our weekly intelligence report on Monday, September the 6th. So our key issue this past week involved the ongoing fallout of the SolarWinds supply chain incident. This past week, US software and services firm Autodesk confirmed it had been targeted by SolarWinds perpetrator Russian state unit APT-29. While Autodesk confirmed it had reasons to believe no customer operations or company products were disrupted, its disclosure reiterates the broad impact SolarWinds had worldwide, suggesting in turn that other companies are likely to come forward and admit their involvement in the incident as well. As for our cyber criminal reporting, this past week, we mostly focused on the trend that sees criminals exploiting recently disclosed vulnerabilities to hijack target machines and use their resources to mine cryptocurrencies. This is a practice known as cryptojacking. We did so in the context of a new vulnerability um, in web-based corporate wiki software Confluence, which already attracted active scanning and targeting by criminals, including from adversaries that engage in crypto jacking operations. Meanwhile, our nation state coverage this past week mostly focused on Chinese espionage unit APT-41, as we covered a um, espionage campaign that group um, conducted against several public and private entities in the Indo-Pacific region. A campaign that reiterates China's um, espionage efforts in that specific region. So if you would like to read the full report and stay up to date with the latest cybersecurity incidents, do subscribe to our newsletter and you can do so by clicking on the link in the description or by visiting Orpheus website.